I'm a Bitcoin guy. I believe in the Bitcoin narrative. I, I think 98 to 99 percent of the coins out there today are going to eventually be worthless. There's a chance that we are going to bottom in the low threes, and that's why I want to have an ownership position here. This is a marathon. Trading is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Peter Brandt is a veteran trader and technical analyst with over 40 years experience in trading commodities. He is the author of several books on trading, including the best-selling Diary of a Professional Commodity Trader. We reached out to Peter and asked him how traders should behave in this seemingly never-ending crypto bear market. Oftentimes in trading, keeping your money intact is, is the best thing you can do. Um, and uh, well, you know, we've seen a tremendous amount of wealth deteriorate in the spare market in, in, in the coins and the crypto markets. And uh, those who went on the sidelines back in December, January, February, uh, and decided they're going to sit on their cash are far better off than, than the person uh, that's become an active trader and trying to be defensive and, and, and jumping around from coin to coin. I, I don't advise that. And so capital preservation sometimes is, is really the goal of a trader. It's almost as if fiat is a dirty word. It's a disease within the crypto community. Sometimes fiat is the best place you can be. And we've seen that now in the last 11 months. Um, those holding fiat have been far better off than those stubbornly deciding that, you know, Bitcoin is going to go to $100,000. So therefore, I'll sit through anything the market gives me. Uh, I'm a trader. I think it's ludicrous to sit through 90% uh, declines in the market, especially when you have a market that so clearly advertised its tops uh, starting in December with Bitcoin. I think those who have become active in trading will miss the big moonshot when it comes because they're going to be so accustomed to having to be in and out be looking at short-term indicators, to be an indicator-driven trader, uh, to be looking at one-hour charts, six-hour charts, three-hour charts, that if and when Bitcoin really then re-emerges and goes back into a parabolic move, they're going to be on the sidelines. I'm starting to become interested in being, being a long-term uh, buyer and holder of Bitcoin, but of Bitcoin. I, I have no time in my life for the other macro caps and the altcoins. I, I'm a Bitcoin guy. I believe in the Bitcoin narrative. I, I think 98 to 99 percent of the coins out there today are going to eventually be worthless. And it seems like all the experts know that their pet coin is not going to be one of them. Well, good luck with that one. I'm a technician. I, I look at charts. Uh, the interesting thing is, is the, the the social media world is filled with people who say technical analysis doesn't work in the crypto markets. Au contraire, they're the absolute best charting markets that we have today. I mean, they, they, they're wonderfully compliant with classical charting principles. And so, you know, I'm going to look at charts to give me that indication. Uh, I've had the feeling, I've been calling for 2,900 Bitcoin for a very long period of time. And um, do we have a chance to bottom before that? Quite frankly, I think that one or two scenarios is likely we won't get to 2,900 because it's become a popular number. 3,000 has become a talked about number. And oftentimes when you, when you have a market that everybody's saying, I can't wait to buy that 3,000, you don't get there. Uh, but I think if we can break down through hard through 2,900, I think Bitcoin can go back to 1,200. It's been a classic decline. The decline has been almost a perfect fractal so far to the decline that we saw. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a chart here from you know 2014 uh, into early 2015, the big drop that we had back then from just under 1200 all the way back you know toward the 200 level if you analyze that and you take that decline apart uh the market the bitcoin market is is almost an identical fractal uh, uh to that bear market and based on that fractal where we should be in the final leg down the capitulation the only concern i have is when i look on social media there is just People have not become discouraged. People are just still committed to the long side. And uh, my experience is Bitcoin really, really is very similar to any other market. In any other market that I've dealt with that have had major bear trends, what happens is everybody needs to get 
uh, as long as you have hope and encouragement, you can't bottom. Either we don't get as low as people are waiting to buy it. In other words, we stay above 3,000 and have some sort of bottoming pattern here and, and, and really put together the final part of the fractal. Uh, or we go, we'll blow through these buy orders and, and, and uh, eventually blow these people out. Um, and really make the market scourged and basically give up on it. It's impossible to catch the top price, impossible to catch the bottom price. If I can, if I can have my average price somewhere within 15% of what becomes the bottom, I'm happy. And so, you know, I have no compulsion to catch the bottom. But I think that I've started buying, and based on my plan, I'll continue to buy as low as it goes. But what I'm really looking for are just some real simple technical indicators. Um, you know, 14-week moving average, 15-week moving average. It's impossible for a market to have a major advance without being confirmed by a simple moving average. Now, it could be an exponential moving average. It could be all kinds of fancy types of moving averages, but I think simple moving average system is, uh, is going to be a very, very, very smart way to trade Bitcoin going forward because it is at, will absolutely be impossible for Bitcoin to incur and experience a major advance in price without confirmation from simple moving averages. I think to the bottom, we could be within six months Maybe even, I would say within six months of a bottom, there's a chance that we are going to bottom in the low threes. And that's why I want to have an ownership position here. It won't bother me if it goes lower. I'll only increase my ownership position. And so I have set aside my money in three blocks. I have three nest aids of money that I'm using to commit to the Bitcoin market. The third block of money is buying Bitcoin on a scale down. Uh, you know, I own it some already, like I said, 8% of the total capital. I'll buy more Bitcoin close to 3000. I'll buy more Bitcoin at 2400. I'll buy more Bitcoin at 1200 if it gets there. So that's a third of the money. A third of the money I am going to be moving in and out of Bitcoin based on a simple moving average crossover system. It's a basic, simple, technical approach to market. And a third of the money I'm going to employ based on what I would define as classical charting principles. It, it's the, 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 the basic principles of reading a chart. The charts have been very reliable in seeing that we are in a big bear market. And, uh, and you know, they, they've been screaming. They were screaming short at the top. They were screaming short here a month or so ago when the big decline started. And... Uh, but it's, it's too late to be a new trader and start playing around with the short side. It's I, it just I don't advise it. You know, now with the 85 percent decline, I'm advising people to make a game plan, commit a sum of money that, you know, you can lose and start being willing to commit to it. Don't be joint. Don't be trading the altcoins. Trade the real deal. The legacy coin is Bitcoin. Uh, don't become conned into all of these other little nonsense coins and you're going to miss the fat. You know, this is a marathon. Trading is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And so you don't keep placing your bet and jumping your bet from horse to horse based on who's leading the race at, you know, at any given furlough. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.